to Oak Brook, Illinois. Anna McDonald's protests are swarming the company's headquarters. Demonstrators are demanding 15 bucks an hour, and they also want in on a union. Welcome, everybody. I'm Neil Cavuto. And the scene today outside those headquarters as hundreds of protesters were blocking roads and forcing one nearby McDonald's to shut down. To Garrett Tenney in Oak Brook with the very latest. Hey, Garrett. Yeah, Neil, this is what's left of that crowd that ended up being about 1,500 to 2,000 people. They were out here at McDonald's headquarters from across the country protesting what they say is an unfair wage. They want $15 an hour and union representation. This is part of a nationwide movement. Just yesterday, the city council of Los Angeles voted to pass a $15 minimum wage by 2020. And New York City and Washington, D.C. are also considering making that change. But this comes at a rough time for McDonald's, which just brought in a new CEO a couple months ago, and it has been hoping to turn the company around after years of lagging sales. In March, the company announced it will raise the starting pay of its workers by $1 above the local minimum wage at its company-owned stores. That's set to take effect in July. But many of the protesters out here today say that's simply not enough to be able to provide for their families and to be able to not rely on public assistance in terms of in, in uh, the form of food stamps and Medicaid and they say that they need more than that and really a lot of folks we talked to said $15 an hour still isn't enough they're hoping for more 17 to 18 dollars an hour down the road that's why they're looking to have union representation we spoke to someone from McDonald's earlier today they said that 90 percent of its locations in the United States is owned by franchisees and they have no power or control over what the minimum wage is and what the pay is at those locations though so they say they are constantly reevaluating what the pay scale is though and they're open to making changes down the road Neil Garrett thank you very very much well even when companies do hike the wage the rage continues to former AFL CIA organizing director Stuart a cuff on why that is why is it Stuart it's not as if McDonald's has been standing pat here they did hike their wage uh, and they have increased benefits not good enough no, it's not enough. I mean, $15 is the minimum we need for a, uh, a minimum wage in the, in the United States. Stuart, uh, in that's, the double, that's double it, what it is in a lot of parts double, of the country now. That's a, big, that's a big it, bill. It, it is a, it's a big step, although we haven't had an increase in the minimum wage since 1996. So we need a big step. Well, would and, you delineate and, any differences, and, Stuart, for young people or high school or college no, kids? No, not, no. The fact of the matter is 60 percent of the people who work at the minimum uh, wage are adults and the heads of households. So this idea that it's a teenager thing to do to get extra money to buy a car or whatever, that's all false. Well, even, are, but but what, Stuart, wait a minute, because even in L.A. where they just approved hiking the minimum wage to $15, they've got a carve out. For, for, for those establishments where they have kids or those who are working, uh, you know, at a high school or college, so they can have essentially a, a two-tiered wage structure. But, you know, what is going on here, Neil, is we've got the highest uh, income inequality in the world in this country, and the people at the very bottom of our society are asking for a living wage, something they can raise their families on. If you believe in family values, then you will believe in raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour, and McDonald's needs to lead the way on that. All right, well, let, let me ask you this, though, Stuart. I, I, I know you came for the FLCIO, but I'm sure you're aware that recently the United Mine Workers was pushing for a measure that would allow, in order to keep union workers, a two-tiered pay structure so the new ones coming in would come in at a lower rate. So what is right. wrong if a union sees the viability of a, of a wage structure that pays new entrants coming in at a lower rate to, to, protect, to protect union jobs in this case? Isn't that the argument these fast food employers are making, not to have one wage fit all, a $15 wage at that? Well, that, we're talking about a minimum wage. Uh, all, uh, uh, mine workers are making much more than, than $15 an hour. We're talking about a standard across-the-board minimum wage. I understand wage. that, but Stuart, you, you see what I'm talking about. about. You see a that a union that... is savvy enough to say, when push comes to shove and we want to save our jobs and we don't want them to go, we are open to a lower wage structure for new entrants 
to I save jobs. Now, 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 wait, wait a minute. I'm just saying in this case, to save jobs and not risk with a company that is beginning to lose business I, and is getting eaten alive by its competitors, is this the time I, to force a one-size-fits-all wage on them? On McDonald's and the fast food uh, uh, stores and owners, absolutely. I think you're talking about the UAW, not the United Mine Workers, the automobile workers. And they negotiated a tour tier uh, wage system so that they could incentivize more production in the United States and but, protect but, 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 but more the jobs is still, in the United States. The argument States. is still the same. I don't want to get that side no, I, I guess what I'm saying no, is you are open to the understand same, the wisdom though. of a two-tiered wage structure if it protects unions. You're not if it's, if it's helping out fast food owners. Neil, it's, it's not the same because McDonald's is not going to move all their businesses to Malaysia or Indonesia. Well, it needn't have to. A, a lot, of, the, a lot of McDonald's are likely going to close, Stuart. I know, I know you think McDonald's oh, makes money not, hand over fist. They are going through true. their umpteenth restructuring that here. Uh, they are getting true. eaten alive by their competitors because of the management's <laughs> own screw-ups. I'll be the first to say oh, that, and manager Neil. will say. But wait a minute. Let, hear me out. You are now saying to McDonald's, despite the they, fact you McDonald's raised the minimum is wage a dollar, every not enough. Other, every other fast food owner in America, McDonald's undercuts them. Every small bomb, uh, mom and pop. That's not uh, true. Uh, fast food uh, operation, that's not true. Believe me, undercut. I'm not an apologist for McDonald's. I like all the fast food guys. I go to all the fast food restaurants. I'm just saying they read the writing on the wall. They've stopped making money like they used to. Their Neil. franchisees are not doing business like they used to. And a lot of McDonald's that's are being realigned or reshuffled or closed. That's because of the corporation. I, I understand that. I'll be the first to say, Stuart, I'm the first but, to say but, McDonald's I, screwed up. I'm the first to say you know, that. But you are placing on them the added onus of saying, you seem to have a lot of money, McDonald's, so we want you no, to we're double your wage. Everybody should uh, double. Fine, and, but and, now, you and, know, this and, was outside Neil, McDonald's, Stuart. You Neil, are now saying to, you come, seem to make come, a lot of money. Neil, double your Neil, pay. Come to, Neil, come to Philly with me. Have a Philly cheesesteak with me. It's seven and a half bucks in a, 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 a cheese steak. McDonald's is three and a half bucks a, a, a hamburger. Whoa, 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 okay, wait a minute. What are you saying there, Stu way, Stuart? Way, way wait a minute. What are you saying, Stuart? They're way, way You are saying that uh, maybe you're right. Maybe Americans are all altruistic about this. You are saying they will happily pay double for a burger, double for fries, double for a Happy Meal. That no, you know no, 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 no. In order no, to double, not, in not, order to double the not, minimum wage, you think they'll that do that? Is, no. Neil, you're not listening. Now, you're better than this. It's 50 cents more a burger to double the minimum wage right, for McDonald's. Oh, come on. Now, you all. know it's not 50 cents more a burger. You just made that I up, I do Stuart. know it's 50 cents more. The, re the research has been done, Neil. You don't think we'd be engaged in all this had we not done the research, Stuart, if you? it was only 50 cents a burger, McDonald's would happily sign at the bottom. Oh, 15 bucks. What would we think? And we're that's idiots. what we're trying to make sure that McDonald's has Stuart, to raise the Stuart, they're not selling the burgers. They're not selling fries. And, they're not and, selling like and, they used to. They and, came up with a restructuring and, plan that's not working, and, Stuart. They're, and, they're, by and, their own idiocy, they're making mistakes. And now you are saying, we don't care that you're idiots. We think that you should double your wage because you're not doing not the right thing. It's not our responsibility that they're idiots. Well, the, but I'm saying to these idiots, if you're calling idiots, then you're saying, hey, idiot, and if double your smart, wage. If they were smart, they would raise the wages of their if employees. If they were smart, they be, would be making money and, hand and over fist, the and they're not. They're not making money hand over fist. You're right because they made some very stupid well, management that's what decisions. And you're, and you're not but the workers money. shouldn't have to pay for it. But the, but the workers, workers should not have Stuart, to pay for it. The workers it. are going to pay for it. That's what makes this argument one fry no. shot short of a happy meal. There, there's no way you could justify a business that's screwing up and saying, you know what you got to do in the middle of this total cost restructuring, you have to double your labor costs. And, I mean, that's it's, it's why people are, and that's why people are in the streets now. That's why people have struck McDonald's. Stuart, I love you to death. There are going to be and, a lot more of them in the street if, if, if you force this on McDonald's. I'm not an apologist for McDonald's I, I, any more than and, I, and, any of the other and, guys. But when you are not I'll making you, money like I'll you used you to, what. you can't start doubling their costs. And I'll tell you what, McDonald's. I'll tell you what, McDonald's. You're not going to be by yourselves. Burger King, get ready. All right, man. I think we're talking past ready. each other, Stuart, but I'm telling you, my friend, it is I'm a prescription for disaster you, because these workers you want to help, and I think you do, I think you mean what you say. The problem is the workers you think you're helping are the workers who are going to be kicked out of their fannies because McDonald's can't cough it up.
And no, it's not going to be because they doubled the minimum wage. I'll tell you that. Oh, man, oh, man. I mean, well, you know, I'd I love to go up to any business and say, double your wages, do this. It's like your money, what the hell, right? No, it's it, 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 it's it's all of our consumers' money, absolutely. I mean, okay. We just believe workers ought to work for a livable wage, and if you believe in family values, you'll be with us. Well, you know, then the families that are earning more than 15 bucks now or close to 15 bucks, that they're going to want more, they're going to want more, and their managers are going to want more, and others are going to want more. What if we could just buy a wave of a wand, just double people's salaries? That would be nice. You know what? You know what? We waved a wand, and now all of the benefits of our growth Growth in GDP has gone to the top 10% of the top 1%. Right, well, we haven't seen an increase in in wages in 35 years in this country. In all right, 10 well, years, all of the increases in GDP has gone to the top 10% of the top 1%, my friend. All right, but I'm, I'm looking at the boom, because of the example a lot of people use it on a, a, a currency-adjusted basis, wages are much higher abroad. So a lot of you guys start talking about what's going on in Italy, what's going on in Germany, what's going on in England, what's going on in France, and those economies are imploding. They're grinding to a halt right now. So they're such a stellar it's example. Not, it I'm it's not, Stewart, it's not it, it would be like taking unions. dietary advice from me, my friend. You do not want to go there. You do not want to use them as an example or, or just by, by a wave of a wand, it's double a, people's it, wages, and assume that everything's going to be hunky dory. Neil, the, what is wrong with Europe is that Wall Street crashed in this country in 2007 oh, and destroyed $50 trillion of the world's wealth. And seven trillion so what, dollars of America. Uh, okay, well. now we're open another way. But I'm telling you, I got to get you back, Stuart, because I love you to death. But I'm telling you, you are writing a prescription for the death of uh, of employees across the country. I could see a higher minimum wage. It's that not I true. agree with you. I tell you, but doubling it, man, oh man. Thank I, you, Neil. Thank uh, you. Thank not you. doubling it, Stuart. Not doubling it. I hear. I understand. I hear you. I hear you. But I uh -huh. also heard that you think the minimum wage ought to be raised. Well, so any regular you. viewer of this show knows that. Where I draw the line is all of a sudden, you know what, let's just double it. Let's just double it. All I, right, well, Stuart. I think we should double it. You and I have a disagreement yes, there on how much it should be, it, it should be raised. But, but I just want uh, you to remember what your union friends have done elsewhere when it came, when their jobs were up against on, they said, you know what, we are open. To, a, to an idea to protect these jobs. And that is, and that's exactly right. That is exactly what But you're what not open to did. it when businesses do it. You're not open to it when a McDonald's wants to do it. You're not it open to it when, when, when individual franchisees want to do it. You're open to it when, Stuart, you're open to it when unions want to do it. You're not open to it when others want to do it. You Neil, don't take your own medicine. Neil, we negotiate every day in every sector of the American right. economy. And oh, we man. go back and forth, up and down. Okay, Stuart. We press for a better life. For, but, the, but, but you but, also you know, press for jobs. Prepared, you also press to protect also their jobs. Also press for jobs. That's you right. That's you, exactly you, and, right. And, and like the good union guy, you, you want to he, protect their jobs. Uh, that's right. But hear me out. What is wrong with this economy and wrong with the European economy is the destruction of fifty trillion dollars? Uh, don't with go the with the best. Come on, now, Stuart. You just now you now you took the happy meal and just threw it in the garbage. Stuart, I want to thank you though. I want to get you back. You're a good guy. You believe good. in what you say, but I think you will slowly kill us all. Well, that's just my I, opinion. I I I I don't agree with you, but right. uh, I appreciate the fact you're a gentleman. Well, as are you, Stuart. Thank you very very much. We'll have a lot more right after this.